Here's it going. A real life Peter Griffin here with a message for the fans of the Two Glasses movie series. First of all, Merry Christmas, everyone. And secondly, filming for the part seven is going to start in the beginning of the new year. Freaking sweet. And always remember that. Bye, 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 bye. Bird's a word, a word, a bird, 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 and a bird is a word. Oh, well, don't you know about the bird? Well, Peter's gonna tell you about the bird. Bird, 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 a word, a word, a bird. Shut up, Meg. This may come as a shock to you guys, but I'm not a sports fan. I ran track about a year in middle school. Terrible decision because, one, it was middle school and... I'm not a sports guy, like I said. So I've never really been a sports guy. I've always been into movies, gaming. Yeah, I was never a sports guy. And I, I don't disrespect people that do like sports. If you like sports, that's awesome. It's just, this is not for me. So yesterday I had lunch with some of the guys from the fruit jar. I've talked about the fruit jar um, a few times on this channel. Um, I'll put a link in their channel in the, in the description so you guys can check them out if you don't know who they are. But uh, I with Luke and Reese, and it was it was a really good time. We talked for two hours, and it didn't feel like two hours. It went by pretty quick. So, yeah, it was it was a good time. Uh, shout out to Luke and Reese. If you guys are watching this, it was a lot of fun. Hope to do it again at some point. So yeah, it was a good time. But something happened during it that I thought was kind of funny. So uh, there was this guy that was like next to us at our table. And he was kind of like at the doorway at the restaurant that we were eating. And uh, he was like, he was pointing at someone. And then he just like crouched down and he was like, yeah. Like it was, I didn't know what he was doing. And then like, he was just like walking around and then he, he did other things. And then I realized what was going on. There was a TV on our right and he was watching the World Cup. Now, for those that don't know what the World Cup is, I think what it is, it's essentially the Super Bowl of soccer or football for the British people. Um, yeah, apparently there's people in the UK that watch me. So hello, people from the UK. Um, welcome. But uh, yeah, that's essentially what the World Cup is. And I was thinking to myself, man, like sports fans are just wild. Like they always like freak out when their teams lose. And I I respect the dedication. You know, I, I think it's awesome. If you guys are that much into your teams and stuff, I, I think that's cool, but at the same time, I think it's pretty crazy, because, like, I don't know, like, there was one time I was doing a live stream, and my, my dad was upstairs uh, watching his college basketball game, and basically, he just started freaking out, like, I'm, like, trying to play Minecraft with the boys, and then, next thing I know, I'm, I hear upstairs my dad losing his mind, going, like, god damn it, get the ball, like, just, just that, the entire time, so, I had to stop, and I was just, I was mad a little bit, but at the same time, I respected the dedication, and come to think of it, if, I'd probably be the same way, if it had to do with, like, music or something, I feel like we would have that same discussion, oh, definitely Marvel and DC, the Marvel and DC fanboys, they lose their freaking minds, it is like a riot, so, there's definitely that kind of rage aspect with that. But I was thinking to myself, I was like, I'd probably be the same way. If, um, one example I was thinking of, so me and my dad, uh, earlier this year, we saw Paul McCartney in concert and it was fantastic. I, I still can't believe I saw Paul McCartney and I was thinking, well, what if, what if this happened? So like we're, we're seated, we had floor seats and we were, we were, we sat down in our seats, we're getting ready. The lights go out. Everyone's freaking out. And then the band starts coming in. And then Paul McCartney's coming up. He's got a spotlight. And he's got his bass. And everyone's just getting ready. And then all of a sudden, you hear him You hear him say this. You know what? I'm, I'm getting too old for this shite. Screw you guys. I'm going home. And he just, he just walks off stage. People would be furious if that happened. I would be mad. I would be like my dad. When he rages at sports. That's how it would get to me. That's how I would act like that. If something like that happened with music. If something like that happened. If Paul McCartney did that. People wasted all their money. <laughs> to see Paul McCartney. And then he just doesn't do it. That's what would happen. Now. 
Obviously, that did not happen. He he did play the whole set, obviously, and it was great. I'm just saying, if that happened, I would rage like a sports fan. That's what I'm trying to say here. And so, I I respect sports fans. Even though, like, the title is kind of clickbait, where I'm saying they're wild. They technically are, but I respect it. Because they care about what they're into with with the sports teams that they're into. And I highly respect that. And I think the teams should be very proud that they have some big fans like that. So, yeah, I respect the sports fans. And, yeah, that's about it. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys next time.